Hey guys, most people don't know this, but one of the best ways to fuel your motivation, keep you on track, and have good results short term, medium term, and long term is what? To have a rival. The more you think about your rival, the more you write about your rival in note taking, and the more you train to beat your rival, the more you're going to be able to stay on track. The more you're going to be able to actually structure drills that can help you to beat that rival, and the more you're going to be able to really, 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 really have short-term, medium-term, and long-term results. Why? Because practicing intentionally, practicing with more focus is a good thing. When people do robot training, a lot of times they don't realize that you get a lot more out of it when you actually picture a specific opponent over there. When you're intentionally pushing here, flipping there, looping there, looping there, counter looping there, smashing there, smashing there, smashing there. When you actually picture a real opponent and you're very, very intentional for every single shot where you're going to play it, that's actually enhancing your concentration. Why? Because in match play, you have to do just that. In match play, it's not just a ball coming out of a black pipe and you're just whacking it hoping something's going to you know, win you a match. What do you do? You push to this location. You flip to this location. You loop there. You loop there. You loop there. By targeting different locations, it actually really brings the robot to life, enhances your concentration, makes it more interesting, and makes it more human-like. So if you're going to get the most out of your robot training this week, I would recommend that you spend five minutes before every robot session and write down notes. Maybe you have a dry erase board. Maybe you actually have a notebook. Maybe you have a tablet and you're just taking notes on your tablet. But take notes. Five minutes of note taking on how to beat your rival. Structure your robot training session. Structure your robot training session on drills that you think are going to beat that person. Think about that person during your actual session and then play matches against other people, really wanting to, to implement your strong points against those other people, just like you would against your rival. When I was a kid, I made some good progress. I didn't have much coaching. I didn't have a good training environment, but I made some good progress. And a lot of it was geared on beating my rival or beating my rivals. So you too, if you want to make progress this year, have a rival, have at least one rival. Think about write about, and train to beat that rival. I'm Sam Sindabina. Thanks for watching. For more free articles and videos, make sure you check out our new website, powerpongrobots.com. See you soon.